Kendall Jenner breaks down in tears over her disastrous Pepsi ad. Hey guys, it's Emily with your weekly Dash Cap, and it's the season premiere, and we got a little behind the scenes footage of the Kardashians shoot with The Hollywood Reporter, and apparently the rumors about Scott Disick are true. Most extreme rumor you've heard about your family. Oh, all of us here have slept with Scott Disick. Yeah. <laughs> and it is true. Oh, we came oh, here today. So we to came here to tell it. you guys at The Hollywood Reporter that we are boning Scott Disick. <laughs> Quick Courtney update. She's of course with model Yunez Benjima and Scott is with Sophia Richie, but Court shockingly isn't ruling out more babies with Lord D. Ooh, I feel like point. I would if the situation was right. We also get to see Chloe and her insane new butt get in some PDA with soon-to-be baby daddy Tristan Thompson. Chloe also takes her sisters on a tour of Tristan's home city, Cleveland. So much fur is happening and the girls get to work being super annoying in a brand new city. Woo! Queen woo, B of woo, Cleveland. Eh? Chloe! Oh, Courtney! <laughs> the queen of Cleveland! Kim K! Hasn't Cleveland been through enough? Well, meanwhile, the Kardashian beauty routine is getting ever more eccentric as they do some sort of omega-3 masks inside an oxygen bubble. It's science, guys. Okay, now to the big event. You may remember Kendall's tragically tone-deaf Pepsi ad where she ends social injustice with a can of soda. The backlash had Pepsi pull the ad and Kendall was totally mortified, but she definitely started the project with high hopes. When I first got this offer, I mean, it's a huge company. The people I was following were so iconic and amazing. Michael Jackson's done it, Britney Spears has done it, Beyonce has done it, Pink, the list goes on. So to get something like that is just, it was so exciting. Ironic to mention Michael Jackson, who in 1984 at age 25 was badly burned during filming his own disastrous Pepsi ad when his hair caught fire from the pyrotechnics. Pepsi paid $1.5 in damages to the King of Pop, which MJ then donated to the hospital, which treated his burns. Kendall was physically unhurt, of course, but she's super devastated and goes to Kim for advice, who you could say has some experience with scandals. What really seems to bother Kendall is that she felt dumb for playing along with this ad in the first place. Obviously, if I knew that this was gonna be the outcome, like, I would've never done something like this, but you, you don't know when you're in the moment, and like, it was the most, like, it was, like, it was so, like, I just felt so stupid. Lucky for you, we are recapping Keeping Up every Monday, so subscribe right up here, you know you want to, and remember the show airs every Sunday night only on E!